With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone. We have to solve a question here. A car moves with a constant tangential acceleration AC is equals to 0.62 meter per second square along a horizontal surface. Sur circulating a circle of radius r is equal to 40 meter. The coefficient of sliding friction between the wheels of the car and the surface is mu is equal to 0.2. The car can ride without sliding up to distance 12 x meters if the initial moment of time its velocity is equal to 0. The value of x is how much? So in this question we have to find out the distance which the car will slide without its velocity going to 0. So here we are given a circular path and its radius and the coefficient of friction between the car tire and the road which is 0.2 its tangential acceleration is also given so let us find out so we know that initial velocity of the car is always 0 so we can write v square is equals to how much 2 into this is tangential acceleration into the distance s. So this will be our equation 1. So now we know that tangential acceleration is always greater than 0. It is positive. The speed of the car increases with the time or distance. When the distance is increasing or time is increasing, the speed will increase because the acceleration is given in a positive value. So we can write speed will increase with distance. Now till the moment sliding starts the static friction provides the required centripetal acceleration of the car. So when the sliding will start there will be a friction between the tire and the car, tire and the surface of the road. So this will provide the centripetal force. So now our force F R will be tangential acceleration AC. So this is frictional force which will be equal to the centripetal force. Now we know that frictional force FR is how much? Mu into mg. So now let us put this here. What we will get? So we will get a c square this will be greater than equals to k square this is mu square into g square or we can write a c square plus v square by r this will be less than equal to mu square into g square. Again we can write v square is less than equal to mu square g square minus a c square into this radius r. Now if we simplify this further we will write v max will be 
रूट ओवर ऑफ म्यू स्क्वायर जी स्क्वायर माइनस ए सी स्क्वायर इनटू आर व्हिच इज द रेडियस ऑफ दैट स्लाइडिंग कार्स पाथ सो वी कैन राइट द डिस्टेंस एस इज भी स्क्वायर मैक्स डिवाइडेड बाय टू इनटू tangential acceleration this is our equation one from this equation we can write this distance if we simplify this distance will be nothing but v square by 2 ac so this is we are writing here so now let us put these values so we have 1 by 2 into root over of this is mu g divided by a c this whole square minus 1 so this is the thing we have now we know that this a c is nothing but 12 x and if we calculate this we will get 60 meter now our x will come out to be 5 meter thank you for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today